Hello friends, it's me again May and welcome to a new journaling video. I decided to talk in this video so that I can show you my process and how I journal about my personal life here in Tokyo. So this notebook is from Notebook Therapy. You can use my discount code in the description to get 10% off your purchase. So this year I got married and my husband started living with me here in Tokyo. And that's why I decided to have this notebook to keep all of our memories here. I am going to give you a flip through of all of my finished spreads at the end of the year. That'll be a separate video. Today, I want to show you how I journal about my personal life and experiences here in Tokyo. So today's spread will be about last weekend when we went and visited Tokyo Tower. So I usually start with a stamp to mark the date. I recently got this at the stationery shop near the train station. And you guys, it was only for $2 and I was so happy when I got it. So I like it because I can write the date here, the days, and the weather as well as the temperature. This is now my new favorite date stamp and I'm thinking about putting it right here. I'm gonna use this brown ink pad. good and we'll just stamp it here okay while waiting for the ink to dry I printed these photos using my Fujifilm Instax mini Li play I got this as a gift from my husband three years ago when we were still living in Manila so here are the photos that I printed. Uh, the first one was a photo of us just hanging out in the park with Tokyo Tower in the background. This is a photo of me that my husband took while we were at the park. And, and the last picture isn't really that clear because it was shot at night. But this is a shadow of me and my husband. I'm sitting on a bench by a temple and we have the Tokyo Tower here in the background. We were sitting on the bench eating taiyaki. Taiyaki is a Japanese pancake shaped like a fish and we had two of them. The flavor that my husband got was red bean and I got the custard flavored filling. So we are going to use these as ephemera for today's journal video. I also cut these pieces from the packaging of the taiyaki that we ate. So if you're coming to Japan, I highly recommend you guys eating this lovely dessert. It's one of my favorite Japanese foods. Now that the stamp is dry, it's safe to write the details. I am using my Pentel Energel uh, in the color brown. Right, so this is what it looks like filled out. Now let's go to the next step. So I often get asked about how to journal on a budget if you don't have money to buy stationery. I'm lucky because I get to work with a lot of brands who send me stationery. But if you want to save up on stationery supply, I highly recommend using magazines as your resource. So this is a Uniqlo magazine. You can grab this for free at any Uniqlo stores. I like the aesthetic of Uniqlo magazines as well as the typography that they use inside. So for this video, let's just browse and see what we can use. Right, so I think I'm gonna use this one and cut out the words today and in. Maybe we can um, have a title that says today in Tokyo. So we just have to be really careful not to cut out the part that we need. So I still want to keep the most of the magazine intact for future use. So let's just cut this small bit. So you might be wondering why I suddenly decide to talk in my video. This is very much inspired by Helen uh, of Coffee Monsters Co. I love her and her channel and I decided that 
it would be a good way to connect with you guys more, especially on a more personal level. If I talk sometimes from time to time in my videos, let me know what you think and if you like it. But so far, I feel comfortable doing this in future videos. So I would really love to know what you think. And perhaps get one image from the magazine. Ooh, I really like this one. We can put it beside the Polaroid of us eating taiyaki. I think I'll just do the word Tokyo in calligraphy. So I like to use a separate piece of paper to glue stuff so that it won't be messy. I'm using this glue that I got from Stationery Pal. So I'll just do a calligraphy of the word Tokyo here using my brush pen from Pentel. For this space here, I want to put this cutout from the packaging of the taiyaki that we ate that day. With the date stamp, I just want to put one small dot washi tape. You can get this dot washi tape from the washi tape shop. Okay, maybe the brown one will look better. Okay. Complements the stamp. Yeah. Okay. Now I want to layer all of the elements that I want to put on the page. Um, first, I just don't want to put the Polaroids directly on the page because they won't stand out in the white background. As I layer these pieces, I would like to take the time to thank the sponsor of today's video, which is Domestica. Domestica is an online creative community where you can take courses to explore your creativity. So the course that I recently took with Domestica is called Creative Bullet Journaling for Productivity. If you're looking to get started on bullet journaling and learning how to set up spreads, I highly recommend that course. Domestica also very generously gave us a discount code where you can get 10% off their courses if you use the link and the code in the description below. Thinking about my spread now and the taiyaki packages that I have, I am thinking that they don't go well with the theme and I don't want to get rid of them. So I'm going to hide them behind this cute teddy bear notepad and put them here. So I'm just going to glue the edges of this and then hide the taiyaki here like a mini envelope within the page. For that, I'll use this Kokuyo tape glue. And just glue the edges. I have to remind myself not to glue the top part. Okay. And then put it here. So this way we can hide this packaging and not throw them away here. Oh, okay. That's better. And then here I can just put a simple note. Okay, that says, pull me. I know that I have a taiyaki sticker here somewhere, so let's just find that. Okay, this is how I usually store my stickers. Oh, I also have this. We can use this later. So this is from Stationery Pal and well, it would be perfect for later since it has Tokyo Tower. And maybe this as well. Ok. 
cute. I know that I have one here. Because I really like... Okay, we found it. It's here. Okay. Let me just get that. I really like how it turned out and I'm happy that I didn't have to get rid of the lovely packaging of the Taiyaki that we ate that day. So there might not be enough space for three Polaroids on this spread. So I'm just going to hide this Polaroid here as well. So we'll use this cute memo pad here for this to go with the Polaroid. Yeah, so I want the picture to be within the bread, so I'll just cut this out. Great. To match this cute memo pad that I put here, I am going to use these two memo pad sheets to go with the photo that we took at the park. So these two sheets came from this memo pad that I bought here in Tokyo. So it's like a collection of cute teddy bear memo pads. I just wanted to show you that. Like I feel very grateful that I get to live in a place that has the best stationery in the world. It's one of the reasons why I love living here in Japan. Okay, so this is what it looks like. It's really, really cute, but it's looking very dull on the side, so I want to put some stickers there. I want to put the sticker of Tokyo Tower over here. The name of the park that we were at is called um, Shiba Koen, so I'll just use this Shiba sticker and then put a green leaf at the top. Yeah, so this is what that section looks like now. So the space that we have here will be for writing. Before that, I want to use my Zebra Mild Liner to create some horizontal lines to write on. I'm very bad at this and usually they appear very crooked. So I'm gonna try to follow the lines this time. Like I'm very bad at keeping things straight. Um, something personal about me is that I am completely deaf on my left ear. So I have the worst balance and alignment. Like, I cannot walk straight. Um, people also have to always uh, stand or sit on my right side so that I can hear them. Yeah, that was wiggly. So it's something that I have lived with for years now. Um, I got it since I was a baby. And... For me, it's just something that makes me me, if that makes sense. But yeah, if you ever see why the lines are wiggly, it's probably because of that. For this part, I'm going to use my Zebra Sarasa Mark On.
so I'm done with the written part of the journal. Now, what's left is this blank space here. I'm not exactly sure what to do with it yet. Let's see if there's something that we can use from this washi tape that I got from the washi tape shop. Oh, I think I know now. This would be perfect. So now that I put this here, I'm very tempted to move the Tokyo's Tower sticker over here so that, you know, the couple has something to look at. So we'll do that now. So we'll just move it here. That's better. Yeah, and on this side, let's just replace it with this sticker from this washi tape. Again, from the washi tape shop. Oh, it doesn't look so plain. There's a temple right beside the park that we went to. So let's just add this sticker here as well. So this is what it looks like now. We're almost done. I just want to add some tiny stickers. I got this at a local store here in Tokyo. And we'll just use this tiny paper to make a line over here. I'll just cut this in half. I'm going to use this knife to cut this. Can get this sticker sheet from my shop. I'm also on Patreon if you want to receive stationary goodies delivered straight to your mailbox every month. So thank you very much for your support. Uh, but really just you hanging out and watching my videos is more than enough for me. All right, I think that this is a good place to stop. <laughs> That's it. I am done with the video for today. This is quite a new format, so I'd like to really know what you think in the comments down below. And I will see you guys in our next journaling session. Thank you very much for watching and staying to the end. Bye!